Hi guys, I'm so excited to see you again. We've almost finished all of the lessons in our time unit, so I thought today it would be fun to get our clock back out and tell time together. Let's see what we remember. Can you tell me what time this clock says? Remember, I start by looking at the shorthand. Where is it pointing? Well, it's past the six, but it hasn't made it to the seven yet, so I know it's six something and then I count by fives to see how many minutes have passed. This is zero minutes have passed. So now we're at five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this clock says 6.30. Give yourself a thumbs up if you got that one right. Now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's see what our clock is going to stop on now. Can you tell me in a whisper what time this clock says? You got it right. Give yourself a thumbs up. Let's try another one. Did you notice how when I move the minute hand, the hour hand is moving too? Watch what it does. Let's start right at the top of the hour. Right now, watch what the hour hand does when I make the minute hand go all the way around. If I'm halfway around, what did the hour hand do? Yeah, it's halfway between 11 and 12 because half of an hour has passed. Now let's keep going. Look at that, a full hour has passed and the hour hand moved one full hour too. That's how a clock works. So now let's see if we can tell some time together. Can you tell me what time it is now? Think about it for a second. Where's the shorthand? That's the hour hand. Where's it pointing? Now think about what the minute hand's doing. Count by fives to see how many minutes have passed. Can you shout the answer to me? Did you say 1.30? Yeah, it's 1.30. The hour hand is between the one and the two, so we know it's after one o'clock, but it's not quite two o'clock yet. And look at the minute hand. If we count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes have passed. So it's 1.30. Let's try another one. This is fun. What time is it now? Think about it for a second. Can you tell me in a grandpa voice? Well, I declare it's three o'clock. How'd you know it was three o'clock? You were right because the hour hand is pointing at the three and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So zero minutes have passed in the three o'clock hour. So we say three o'clock. Let's do another one. What time do you think that says? Look where the hour hand is. The short hand tells us how many hours have passed. And the long hand tells us how many minutes have passed. Sometime between the five o'clock and the six o'clock hour, how many minutes have passed? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can you sing the time this time? Did you say 5.30? Me too, we got it right. Let's do one more together. time do you think this clock says? Hmm, where's the long hand? At the top of the hour, so I know it's something o'clock. Where's the hour hand or the short hand pointing? Seven o'clock. Can you shout it to me? Yes, seven o'clock. It's been fun telling time with you guys today. Great work. 